A very good day to you. It's just wonderful to be with you again. I want to speak to you about instinct. Where does that come from? You know, if you look at uh, John chapter 1, verse 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is the Lord in print. I had the privilege of going away for a couple of days up to the Drakensberg Mountains. They were about an hour's drive from our farm. They are magnificent mountains. And I was in a, a small little log cabin there with my wife, Jill. And just in front of their log cabin is a beautiful big dam. It's like a pond. And I would sit out there and just relax. And I saw a family of otters. There was the mom, the dad, and the one little uh, pup. And they would swim past us every morning and every afternoon. And I could see how they were teaching this little otter how to catch fish. And then the one day he caught a fish and he was so proud of it. He was jumping up out of the water and I saw this little silver fingerling in his mouth. He had caught his first fish. And I thought to myself, Lord, you're such a mighty God. How did you give the instinct to that uh, couple of otters to look after that baby like they're doing? Surely, folks, that's God. You cannot tell me that that happened from some big bang. It's impossible. What makes those otters look after that baby? And then after that, I saw a yellow bull duck come paddling along with five little ducklings, five babies, little ones. And she was going along the side of the, uh, the pond in amongst the reeds, looking all the time for those eagles or raptors. And looking after them. And every now and again, she would just come alongside and push the one little duckling a bit more into the side of the, the dam when they wanted to go into the deep water. And showing them where to get food. And showing them how to, to find and to forage. And again, I just sat there and I was amazed. And she had so much patience. She took so much time. Just like when I often see young mothers when they're going to fetch their children at school. they got infinite patience. And I just realized that's why we have children when we're young. Because when you get older, you don't have that kind of patience. But again, I said, Lord, you know, you're such a mighty God. What a creator. How did you instruct that yellow bull duck to look after all five of those little ones? And she did it so well. And then eventually when it was time for them to go, she led the way and they all just tucked in behind her. And they carried on right across to the other side of the pond and obviously into their little hiding place for the day. In the evening, out they came again. Folks, Jesus reveals himself to me so often through nature, maybe because I'm a farmer, and I see his beauty and his creativity, and there's no ways you can tell me that there's no God. You cannot tell me that that type of thing happens through progression or some kind of multiplication. It doesn't. Those little um, creations of God have got instinct. They know. And then that farmer had a huge flock of sheep. Not too big, maybe 500 ewes. It's a fair-sized flock. And they'd all just lamb down. And he'd had a whole lot of sets of twins. And what he would do, he'd put them away in the evening, obviously so the jackals and the, the wild animals don't get the, the lambs. And then in the morning, he'd open the gate and I'd hear them all making a huge noise. And there'd be mothers and babies running all over the place. And as the, the, the farmer, the shepherd, said to me, he said to me, he's a young man, he also loves the Lord. He said to me, Angus, isn't it amazing how every single lamb knows exactly where his mother is? Now, there's a lot of noise going on, but he can hear the bleating of his mother, and he runs straight to her. That's not a coincidence. And then lastly, you know, I do a lot of running early in the morning. And just up until about two or three weeks ago, all the swallows were all gathering together on the telephone lines, getting ready to leave South Africa to fly north because it's summertime up there and winter's coming in here. Who told them to do that? That instinct comes from God. God bless you. Goodbye.